early this morning uh, on my way up to a place called Patton, Maine. Uh, I sold the Gold Wing last week and I started thinking about I got a little extra money from selling the bike. What would I invest in? And I don't need really a motorcycle. I don't ride it very much. I looked at a few and I thought, nah, I don't need a motorcycle. And uh, I paid the bills and then I had a little money left over and I got to thinking, what would I really maybe need soonish? And the thought of snow plowing came up. Y'all know I got the Jeep and uh, this year I broke some. Uh, I broke the bolts off the hub on the Jeep and uh, did that right at the end of the snowplow season so it wasn't so bad. And that is something I can fix, but I got to thinking, well, what would I do if something broke on the Jeep? What do I have for a backup? Then I don't have much of anything. I also gave away my old kind of backup lawnmower to Mike and uh, I was looking for, you know, maybe I ought to have a backup lawnmower too. Because, you know, there are times when one, something happens, one won't go, and it's nice to have another one. So I got to looking online. I found a guy that had a, a nice, at least it looks nice in the picture, Case 444 tractor with a snowblower on the front and a mower. And um, he's lived a long way from the house. I left at 5 a.m. this morning. I've been on the road for uh, a little more than two hours. Um, and I'm going to be at his house soon. And we're going to take a look at his lawnmower and if we can work out a deal. And if I like it, I mean, I'm, I'm debating on whether I want to go with this or not. Um, I kind of looked at a lot of pictures of a lot of them and I haven't looked at a lot of mowers themselves. And this mower has got some age on it. However, it's uh, my thinking is it being the kind of tractor it is, it might be a more of a heavy duty tractor than you know, nowadays you go down to the big box store and you buy a, a, a good brand name mower and you know, you run it for a year or two and it's wore out and it don't work anymore. Back in the old days, you, you went to a place like a John Deere store or someplace like that. You paid about four times as much as you have to pay nowadays. You bought a mower that would last you for 20 years, you know. So I'm hoping that buying this older mower uh, tractor, it's heavier, that it will still have enough good left in it to make up for what I'm going to pay for it. Of course, I'm not going to pay a fortune for it. That's part of the deal is I need to get a good deal. But uh, if it's a good sturdy tractor, it looks like it'll last a long time. And I can get us into an affordable range on it. And I feel like all the equipment's in good order. And uh, I looked online about them a little bit. I find that they're you know listed as being very dependable, parts are easy to get, they're easy to repair, and that's something that comes into play for me because I fix my own stuff. So, with all of that said, we're going to go have a look at a mower, a tractor, or a snowblower combination, and we may be bringing it home with us. Now, I decided to bring the Toyota rather than the truck because it is a long drive. Toyota certainly is a lot better on gas. It might be a little bit of a struggle for the Toyota to haul that much weight. And that's something I'll figure out as I go along because I'm not sure how much the mower weighs. But I brought the two axle trailer. And uh, I'm thinking, you know, if it doesn't weigh, you know, too much, you will probably be okay with it. So I'll let y'all know how that goes too. All right then. See ya.